Um, so hold on, before we even dive into Across the Spider Verse, two minutes on Into the Spider Verse. Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> into the Spider Verse. Go. What do you think? Um, let, let's ask this. Into the Spider Verse. Is it your favorite Spider Man movie? Be Ever. Uh yes, yes, actually it is. It, okay. it, yeah. Um I mean that's a pretty that's yeah. a pretty good consensus. It's yeah. like it, it's growing like, up, you know, uh, you know, it was Tobey Maguire Spider Man was uh-huh. my favorite and then until recently and then that mm-hmm. one is definitely my fav- my favorite Spider Man movie now. Yeah, absolutely. And then we and, you know, until they keep releasing. Yeah. Because yeah, this yeah. one's amazing. I mean just yeah. like, hey, you'll hear my beef. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's, the, uh, it's a little beef. Um, well, and like that, that's a, that's the thing, like, you know, Into the Spider-Verse is, for lack of a better word, basically a perfect movie. Yeah, yeah, for like, sure. Uh, like, it was, um, it changed things, it was so great, it was wildly invented, um, and like, it was just a great time. Now, with all of that being said, I want to say what we got from Across the Spider-Verse, we virtually got it, like, Beat for beat and amazing, awesome. Yeah, oh and my like, god! Like so um, interesting. So just like from front to back, it's just like action packed and just right. Uh, there's no, there's no like filler. It's a long movie, but it really did, like needed it. Yeah, yeah, because there's a lot. I mean, the, we were just talking about movies being too long a lot of the right? time, and this wasn't one of them for me at least. Right. I needed all of it. I mean, this is my most anticipated movie of the year, probably with a tied or a one-two finish between the new. TMNT Mutant Mayhem yeah, uh, coming sure. from uh, But this Seth is Rogen. like but this already has the, like, the first one. Right, and, you know. right. So it's like so the, we it, yeah. So I would say good. that this is yeah. probably my most anticipated it, one. And, and I mean to be fair I mean, Metro Boomin on the soundtrack we were just listening to some of it. Like, yeah. oh my god, like it's just so good. It is. Um the soundtrack is great, the animation is great, everybody um nails and like all the voice acting is like 10 out of 10, like, across the board. I love it all. Um, but, like, you know, something else that I really love is that, like, my daughter recently, over the last, like, year, has started really oh, yeah. getting into nice. Spider-Man. Nice. So, like, started with Spider, uh, Spider, Spidey and his amazing friends that Disney on Disney Plus or Disney Junior or whatever. Um, but so she's really starting to get into Gwen Stacy and, like, Spider-Gwen and stuff. Into the Spider-Verse was literally playing... I, at my house on repeat 24-7 for like the last like <laughs> month and a half <laughs> let me tell you nice. it's been insane it's hey, not the worst um, thing no, no 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 you're absolutely right there are way worse movies I could be watching on repeat yeah. um, so we took her to see this and like she loved it it was really great um, but one thing that she loved was how it be- opened mm-hmm. with Gwen Stacy, Gwen Stacy and, 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 um, and Spider-Woman and everything and like we get to see her beginning, like, like we got glimpses of it in Into the Spider Verse. Yeah, and this yeah. Was something... but it wasn't about her. That movie is. Well. This right. movie's definitely. Um, it's, it's, still <laughs> it's still it's still Miles's movie, movie overall, but it's it's definitely she she, she she's way more of a play. Yeah. Not to say, and it's not to say that she was insignificant in the in, exactly. Into the Spider Verse. No, very much. It enough. was just like all of the other Spider people were great supporting characters, yeah. and that's what they were. But for this, it is like true. You know, Spider. You know, Gwen, Spider Woman. I mean, Gwen Stacy is the true female lead in yeah. this. Whereas, like, you get her at the beginning and her at the end. Yeah, she bookmarks the movie. Yeah. She bookends so, the like, movie. Yeah, it's clearly Miles' movie, but it's it's definitely more about uh, them together. Yeah, know? and um, and but, yeah, but I, I'll, get, I'll get to that. Too. Dude, I loved it though. Yeah. Like, I I loved um, seeing what actually happened. With her Peter Parker, and seeing um, the relationship she has with like with her dad and yeah. everything, and which was um, cool. She, her dad, her dad seemed like like I don't know. He was he was uh, a cool guy, right? For but then you know. But then of course, like you know, more strict, you know. like, and he's got his witch hunt going for Spider Woman, who she, who he thinks he, like, killed killed Peter Parker. Yeah, but yeah, but at first, like, he didn't seem to have much beef. Right. And then, yeah. And then that yeah, he, he saw Gwen Stacy, or, sorry, uh, Spider-Woman Woman. leaving the scene of the crime after Peter gets killed as the uh, lizard. Yeah. You know, he's, uh, 
like and like Jack Quaid is playing Peter Parker or Gwen Stacy's Peter Parker. Here. Oh but, yeah, yeah. yeah that's but, cool. but but Peter being the like lizard himself, still giving Peter Parker the scientist kind of thing, but not the Spider-Man. Yeah, power like he sword. wanted to figure out how to be special. Yeah, and so and like, that was like sad. It was like well, into into it's very much like Kirk Connors, Connors too, because yeah. Kirk Connors isn't trying to re to regenerate his arm. For the glory yeah, of he's like more Dr. doing Jekyll, that, Mr. he's High. he's doing that just to heal himself yeah. and he's, like and yeah. to obviously help other people. He doesn't care about like the glory or the recognition of it. He really wants to just fix himself and then and then help other yes, people, yeah. like like for just the pursuit of science and stuff. And that's kind of what we get here is that like he wants to find his own way to be exactly. special and like so yeah. yeah and it makes sense. It's just one thing that goes too far. And he would have studied it. under. Kirk Connors probably. Or yeah, yeah, like yeah. That, Eventually and stuff. At least like, got a, a hold of his uh, research somehow, maybe in that universe. But yeah, he 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 is the the lizard, and it it's not good. No, it's crazy. It's not good. He comes running into the prom. Yeah, and, and like so so that was something that was a little bit different because like when we see it in like Into the Spider Verse, this was just something that stood out to me. Into the Spider Verse, we just kind of see pa- Peter like it almost seems like he's just lying in like a factory. Almost kind of setting more so than like a school gym or whatever. Um, that's probably a slight rewrite or whatever. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Um, but um, either way, I love this whole beginning of Gwen Stacy. I love the introduction of her. And one of the coolest things is the fight with her uh, Victorian like paper mache vulture, dude. How yeah, about that? That was so cool when we get to that scene. Yeah. Um, and we get to that because then we get that scene. That whole battle and fight is just awesome. But we also get that. So that's our first introduction to like the multiverse is glitching. Yeah, glitch. Yeah, still clearly glitching. like this. This her universe looks more like Miles's, but there's this vulture coming in who looks like like this Renaissance art. Yeah. Like from this Michelangelo, you know, mm-hmm. sketch. And uh, well, even Gwen Stacy. To be fair, even Gwen Stacy's universe here looks different than what we saw Miles. Is. Yeah, it Miles doesn't mean it looks more like. Yeah, yeah, it, it's very. It's like the similar. animation yeah, yeah, yeah. style looks more like that. Then you get all of a sudden this one that looks drastically different coming right. in, popping in, and he doesn't even know how he's getting here when they're in the middle of the fight. And uh, yeah, it's so yeah. crazy. And he then, goes, she goes, she guesses. It was pretty funny. She basically guesses what he was doing. He's yeah. like, yeah, that was pretty much it. Yeah, 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 yeah pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. And then we also get the introduction of two new Spider People. One we got at the teaser of in Into the Spider Verse with. Um, Oscar Isaac being Miguel O'Hara, yeah, Spider-Man amazing. 2099. Oh, so and then good. we also got um, <laughs> Issa Rae being introduced as Jessica Jones. Yeah, or Jessica is, she's so cool, too. Yeah. Comes in on the motorcycle pregnant. I'm like, yeah. hey. Yeah. Right? Like, I, that, that, that's just so yeah. wild. And, like, that was awesome. And it's like, why not? She's a spider woman. She can, yeah. she can have kids. Yeah. Why, why not have her be? And, like, yeah. uh, so many people I remember, like when we first saw like trailers and stuff, people were like, "Is she pregnant? Why are they making her pregnant and stuff?" And then spoilers later on, we, we for Peter B. Parker, we yeah. see him just yeah. flip, flip, flipping around with his with daughter his baby, <laughs> with yeah. Mayday. Nobody says anything about that. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like a whole uh, joke. In the like, movie too. oh my god, right? It, I don't it was, remember hearing anyone talking about that. That was so. Fu- that is so- Jake Johnson just gives great performance I, again. Voice acting. Issa Rae is even great uh, as, like, yeah, as Jessica Johnson, Drew here. Like, J- J- Jake Johnson, like, you look at him and you're like, oh, you're going to be Spider-Man someday. That's crazy. And yeah. he's like the best. He's yeah. one of the best. And uh, so then we get the introduction of them. We see the little um, like uh, t- uh, portal, basically, that will like keep you from glitching and that will let you go to different dimensions, but also keep you from like glitching, glitching out, out yeah. in all of those different dimensions as well. And ultimately... They decide to take one with them. Yeah, because and, and, and let her in go the away. moment, there's a moment there with her and her dad that that goes bad, and he points a gun at her. She shows that yeah. it's her, and he's like, he doesn't the, care. He doesn't he's care. still trying to arrest her, and she's, you know, that's that's not gonna happen. So and, yeah, M- Miguel decides he's going back, and then I mean, to be fair, Jessica, Dr- Jessica he Drew's just goes like, through the thing, and then like, yeah, we, 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 Jessica Drew's the one that's like, let's yeah. take her, and then. And then he just like goes to the portal like you decide. Right. Basically, this is on you. Yeah. And then yeah, Jessica and her walk through the portal, and that's the that's the. And, and then um, so then we enter Miles' world, yep. and like this was great to be back because you know like again 
again, the reason why I said Gwen Stacy even lying about it looking semi different is because it is different. Like, yeah, yeah, for like, sure. Like, like, like all of the, um, I, again, spoilers. We see a bunch of different dimensions and stuff here. Like all of them are painted differently in yep. a se- semi emit definitely all color coded, and the way that they do their backgrounds are all different and whatnot because like. When Stacy's just to go back to there just before we, because we know what Miles is like, what his world looks like. We had an entire movie set there, mm-hmm. so like, but Gwen Stacy's one thing that I did love is like those pastel and like yeah, I, I, I don't know. I was born and raised Catholic, so I call it like the Easter colors, yeah, yeah, of sure. like kind of like her world and stuff, and like, like neon, the, like pastels, and, like and, very cool uh, pinks and and, and, yeah. and, and blues Purples, and like white, all yeah. of that, like. Um, it was all really great and so like again then seeing miles this world of like being like miles is his own character gwen is her own character in her own world yep. with her own life and her own experiences and even then just getting literally the visual change of like we're in a whole new world yep. now back with the character that we know and love just like how we started with gwen and everything um but here then it, it was just so great to be back yeah. with like Miles and everybody in his life comes back, all the voice actors, you know, Shamik Moore's back. We got Brian Tyree Henry back as his uh as his dad. Uh we've got uh Luna uh Luna Velas, uh, you know, you might remember her as also Lieutenant uh LaGuardia from, oh, yeah, De- yeah. from Dexter as Rio as Rio. And uh, then of course, uh, you know, Mer- Mahersha Ali, we get a couple of flashbacks of him talking. Mm-hmm. Mahersha Ali is still Uncle Aaron um, through and through. And this is great. Like, we see him, um, we get an introduction to Jason Schwartzman as oh, the yeah, spot. Yeah. Spot's great. Um, yeah. I, I, and, like, he really is kind of, I, like, bumbling and baffling. And, like, he's yeah, very Bugs Bunny. Yeah, he's very. Like a... But, like, he has kind of like a cool sinister when he gets mad it's, cra- it's crazy you yeah. like you're like oh no, yeah, but yeah. it's not a lot he's it's, in my opinion he's not like the biggest antagonist oh, no, 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 he, no, he, he's the thrusting uh he's going he, he brings the story forward but yeah, that yeah, way. But, like he's the catalyst I, I, yeah. of, of pushing the, fl- yeah, the yeah. plot and everything but you're right he's not yeah. the main he's not the main villain yeah. of this and like we'll get to that in yeah. a little bit um but either way we get to the uh, dude him trying to steal the spot, by the way, I'm talking yeah. about trying to steal the ATM, and then yeah, and, 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 and then Miles thing. just like eating the beef patty yeah. and, and like what them having like, a fight and their uh, and his parents are Rio and Jeff are waiting for him at like it, an admissions office, like at the admissions office, and I think it's like a guidance yeah, counselor, a guidance counselor to, to help yeah. because they're talking about like to be fair, once we cut to the parents, they're like. Oh, we're trying to get that college stuff yeah, early trying to get him and to college, and he's just flying by in the background, fighting, <laughs> fighting, fighting spots. That's so great. It's a funny Bugs Bunny esque, like very. It, it, it really is because you, you can't match that humor that like cartoon and animation can do. Mm-hmm. Not like yeah. like and, you and can't do visually, that visually. You yeah. can't do that in live action. No, not it, as, it, it's it, not going to be as funny because ever. well, no, because in cartoons you can believe that the people in that room will be totally like locked into what's yeah. going on there but those windows were open yeah it, 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 in her office there in that guy's yeah. counselor's office she, they, they in real life right. would hear the screaming right. and bumbling around that's going on there <laughs> so it's like the beauty of like animation of like there is this just thing it's that, also like, you gotta that, remember it's new york yeah, it's, uh, fair. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fair. look out the window. All, fair, a lot. fair, and it's also pretty loud. And, uh, yeah, like, yeah. like you know, so like they might just be like yeah. noise blind to it. But either way, like it is a it is a sight gag in the background that you right. definitely don't get in live action, and it's fun to see that there. Of especially because then we see Spot using his portals, so you see them kind of like doing random like jump throughs and it's like you see him up here and then they show up here yeah, and then they're he'll here kick him, he'll kick him like yeah, yeah through and like one and holes, through yeah. one and stuff and like that that whole thing is awesome yeah um the college admission just to give a little bit of time here to rio and jeff um they <laughs> with their uh with their guidance counselor that whole bit is awesome but when she's rachel like, dratch is yeah, Ra- Ra- yeah, yeah rachel dratch is the counselor she's right. She's amazing, and uh, but the ma, uh, but Rio being like Princeton, New Jersey, that's too far. There's plenty of yeah, good yeah, schools exactly. in, in Brooklyn. Yeah. It's like one of the funniest things, and then it's also just like 
Because that's like a total mom move. Yeah, it's, of just, it's just like, no, you can't go there. It's like, like it's too far away. That's too far away. And, and it's like it's like Jersey to New York. But, but they like, got like I, I've so that like, it's cool because like Miles Miles goes ahead and, and says at that moment, like, Well, I want to go there because they study they have the best quantum like physics, physics and stuff, program, program that that the United States offers or whatever. And they're probably the closest he's doing to that getting basi- to a collider. Yeah, he's doing that basically so he could yeah. travel back to the multiverse to see his friends. And that's yeah. that's you know And that's like both like, and it's one of those things that you you see, you tend to see a lot from Spider Man that like you see him just being alone, like the character of Spider Man. So it's one of those things that we saw with Gwen. She like tells us like she joined a band, and then we see her very right. quickly quit that band because she's alone. She doesn't right. want to have friends because she doesn't want to get hurt like Peter does. Here, Miles is not like yeah, that's why like, she's a little different than yeah, Peter because yeah, I would yeah. say Peter usually at least has. A best friend. Right. He usually has a guy in the chair and to some a degree. Too. And like he's he's he a had, kind of a player. Yeah, well he's chasing somebody. He's usually <laughs> chasing Gwen Stacy or then Mary Jane, depending on where we are yeah. in the timeline. Beside the point, um, it's one of those things that we see here, like we don't even see like Miles, like even at the end he's like he met his roommate, but we still don't see them having like what we even see Tom Holland in his movies have with his Peter and Ned, like the guy in the chair, they even go as far in this to say, no, I probably shouldn't make this call to the cops for you because I'm not your guy in the chair. Right, right. And so it's like you kind of feel, and him talking about like wanting to go to Princeton, it's all because he's like, as much as he has his family and stuff here, he's also very alone. Like, yeah, like, like, sure. like, like he misses his <coughs> fellow spider like people and stuff. And like, it's one of those things that like, it's there without it just like beating you over the yeah. face of him like having to say it. He fell in love. It. Let's yeah. be honest. Well, like, there's it's, also it's that. Not, it's like, like there, yeah, there, he's losing his. Fr- he fell in love and he's he wants to get back to the love of his life. Yeah, and like so then um, then you know Gwen shows up and she shows up kind of like she's on a mission. She, she's like. on a mission with like Miguel and everyone. We see Jessica Drew check in every once in a while. Right. And she's supposed to be looking for Spot because Spot is her mark for this. Yeah, well, and, she, there's an anomaly going on, yeah. which is what we find out they're called. Yeah. That, you know, the, uh, the anomaly brings her here, and they, they she starts tracking the anomaly and finds out it's Spot, right? So yeah. she's tracking Spot, but meanwhile, she's been hanging out with Miles a lot. And I've got to say, like, she's been hanging out with Miles. They do the, you know, they do the thread the wire uh, yeah, and, like like thread the needle, like where they're just swinging through the city, going through it, and like she's telling Miles about like they're doing this stuff together, which is really sweet, um, because it's just like I don't know, it's more fun doing things together, you know. Yeah, they're like, having a good time going through the city. Yeah, and like just as much like you can tell, well, they give you like the like visual kind of cues here that like Gwen is also like hurt by the things of like. Of like, cause my, cause she tells Miles about like the multi- interdimensional team and all that stuff, and he's like, well, "Why can't I be a part? Yeah, exactly. of it? Why can't I be a part of it?" And she's like, kind of like really coy and like kind of avoiding the question, and just being like, "I don't know. I'll put in a good word for you, right. and like you know, like I'll see what I can do, you know, and like right. just kind of dodge. She is kind of do- she's dodging that question, trying to just like be in the moment, hanging out with Miles. She's trying to deal with what she she had to come for, for but also just hang with Miles as like, well because she leaves the little like. Um, the little camera droid thing, like spider yeah. droid, to like to watch. be there. Yeah. But I've got to say, like the one thing I want to talk about the Miles and Gwen getting back together and hanging out is we get this beautiful pastel like sunset, basically, of the entire city. Yeah, that was. Cool. And then like it takes up and like seeing it in theaters is it like is amazing. If you haven't gone to see it, I don't know why you're watching this. I would say pause this video right now. For real. Because we probably Stop spoiled it. a whole bunch for you that yeah. you didn't want to you spoil silly for Billy. You. Go pause this, go see it, then come back. But this shot is honestly my favorite shot, at, like as of right now, like that I've seen all year. And it's them where we get this pastel. We see the whole background. It's all these like pastel, like Eastery colors. And I, at three times, I've seen this movie three times in theaters. Every time it's happened to me, I'm seeing it and I'm like, damn. What a visual, amazing shot. And then, in the littlest corner of the upper right, I see a little black 
object move. And I'm like, oh shit, that is Miles. Mm -hmm. And oh shit, that white one over there is Gwen. And I'm like, oh my god. I thought I was looking at this city view from their perspective. From their perspective. And no, they're a part of it. And I didn't even notice it because the shot's up there for like 7 to 10 seconds. And it's like second seven or eight yeah it shows how before, small they are in the before, city yeah, yeah right and it shows how small they are and oh my god ah, <laughs> that shot is just like yeah. so good yeah. and i need like 40 tapestries of it <laughs> all over my house. Cover your house yeah 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 just cover, cover my house eye, like i oh my gosh it's so good <laughs> all right like it, it, it is without a doubt my favorite shot like and like to say that there's not, like, maybe somebody else is like, you're crazy, there's so many other great ones, you're totally right. Yeah, exactly. Because this movie is filled yeah. with just beautiful stuff. But for me, all, it like, I saw it three times. And all three times, I had the same reaction of, damn, that's so good. Yeah, exactly. I can't believe we're looking at the city through my, and yeah. even the third time, I have seen this three times, <laughs> and I still had the same reaction. I know we're not looking at it through the first like this, but it, it still fools me, yeah. because it's so engrossing, and so engulfing and stuff, and ah, oh, man. So, then we get that, and then, like, things kind of start to unravel here, like, li li like, like, things really kind of, well, hold on, before we get to the unraveling thing. When they meet up, I love that party scene. Yeah, when they're yeah, that's what I was gonna say. When they're uh, hanging out, at, well, there's a couple things that happen. He gets grounded, and then yeah. they, they, they but she comes into town, and and her mom and dad see her, see him together, and they go talk to him, and she the, the Rio basically ungrounds him to, yeah, so, for the to night. be able to hang out with yeah. Gwen more, yeah. and. Uh, that's kind of a but that that party scene that they're at is fun is, is a is a cool scene it, because it's just like very like uh cultural and just yeah. cool um well yeah because like his dad's about to become captain yep. and everything DJ. Um, and like they got the dj and everything but Dancing. even but even that conversation like uh oh, yeah they're on the rooftop it's so cool, it's it, just a cool but like one's like oh hi rio hi jeff Oh, you're using our first name because we have a yeah, they have exactly. a conversation earlier. Like, all of your friends are calling us by their first yeah, name and like, stuff. And Mila and Mila just kind of looks blankly, like, yeah, I, I, I like I, I right. don't know what you want from me. Right. Like, <laughs> um, it, like so that was just great because it actually again it shows a real family like unit because like. The, like I, those are conversations. Those are conversations my parents have had to me. Yeah, so like sure. I'm sitting here looking at Miles, looking at his parents, and I'm just like, bro, yeah, right. I feel you, man. Right. Like I've been there. Right. I'm so sorry. It sucked. Yeah, Cause exactly. the girl you like is right there, and it's still <laughs> happening. And what are you gonna correct her? Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but like, so then, th then it kind of takes off though, because the uh, like. Gwen has to go. She starts getting alerts, so she leaves. Um, Miles is back home at the party, and that's when Rio ungrind, uh, un ungrinds him. Ungrounds him. Ungrounds him. Yeah, yeah. And he goes off, and we get the awesome little bit of him unchanging down the uh, fire escape, and then having like his pants on, un <laughs> unzipping his pants, somebody taking, walking their dog, taking a picture, right. <laughs> and then... So and Zipping it back <laughs> up, and we get the the onomatopoeia on yeah. the screen of the z of the zip yep. each time. Like it was just like a funny little gag because yeah. like he's in his Spider Man mask and everything, and it's just like yep, still it's still <laughs> where you're taking your pants off, even with their pants under them. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, oh, yeah. But Gwen goes and sees that spot messed up the apartment that uh, she was supposed to be watching and evaluating, but she was swinging around with Miles. We get. The replay, which just shows that he's messing with his own mini collider spot, is and he goes into the multiverse. Yeah, she uses her thing to to get a replay, the, yeah. this white little spider droid, to get a replay of it. And while she's doing that, Miles is in like invisible because yeah. he following her basically because it, he she didn't want him to come. Yeah, she didn't want him to follow because she was like, "Don't worry, yeah. like, well, like, I'll come back." Yeah, exactly. To you once I talk to them and everything like that. 
But like his mom also was like, well, go, go, yeah. go play and have fun. And so, so he leaves, and so he's all sneaking around trying to figure out what's going on here. And then he he starts overhearing everything. Jessica Drew calls and is like, why? So you were playing with your little boy toy? Yeah, you better and not call. Like, yeah, like, she was like, basically, you better not. Have, oh, you were? Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Well, we're screwed now. Yeah, like, yeah. this is not good. Better hope Miguel doesn't find out. And so she goes back to Spider Society, that we'll just call because yes, that's what exactly. they call it later. Um, so then she goes in there to uh, Spider, or to, to opens a portal because another Spider Man needs help. And they because they found spot there. And yeah, exactly. If you can catch him there, that'll help. Because it be because of the like implosion that occurred because he was trying to make more dots from like that he can travel interdimensionally. Through. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He like imploded and like imploded and shows up in other universes, causes an, an anomaly there. So they're like having to move towards all these anomalies faster and faster. And they find her, find him finally, and they go to. Bad place, yeah. Mumbai. Oh, my head, that's so funny. Mumbai. It's such and a we great get, scene. Uh, we get Patir uh, Parker. Pra Prabhakar. Yeah. yeah. Prabhakar. Yeah. And um, I just want to say Spider Man of Mumbai Haddon. Uh, Mumb and it's um, Kieran Sony from Deadpool. Yeah. Who plays. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he's so good. Uh, he's so great, too. And um, he's so great in it. Oh, like, he's so funny. This introduction yeah. of him is like, you know, like waking up with perfect hair, I don't have to yeah. work out or anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, and I like, don't want to get too big. You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one it's of the so funniest great. things. Yeah. yeah perfect. Yeah. Perfect. And, and then he's going through, showing him through time. He's like, here's the traffic. Here's, <laughs> here's more the, traffic. <laughs> here's where the British stole all of yeah. our things. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> So yeah, it, it so we great. see that, and then, um, but Miles snuck through. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, Miles snuck through the the portal too, and uh, but you're seeing him, and you're seeing him glitching out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And that was like that was so crazy because we were like, oh yeah. yeah, we were always in Miles' world, so he was fine. He was yeah. in the right dimension. His you know cells weren't decaying and stuff, um, and he didn't have the little portal yeah, things that we've know. seen. Yeah, he didn't. One of those yeah. things either yet. Um, well, no, he saw it once, but he didn't. Yeah, he didn't know yeah, why yeah, he yeah, was yeah. glitching out. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but that's all great. But then he meets, then he meets uh, him, and that's so it's such a funny scene, right? Um, and then she also keeps bringing up a Hobie. Yeah, Hobie, and he's yeah. like, "Who's Hobie?" Yeah, and it's yeah. like, and he, there's and, some jealousy there. Yeah, sure. he gets that like a little uncertainty, jealousy thing. Like, who's Hobie? Wait, what's a uh, uh, what's a jumper? Oh, it's like a sweater. Oh, does that mean like you spent the night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's all like confused and like a little so jealous, funny. a little worried and stuff. Yeah. Um, but it's adorable. But and Hobie, we meet him. So we give Spider Punk. Yeah, he's so. You know, cool. Daniel Kaluuya. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 so like, he's one of my favorite characters. In yeah, and he's so. He's I mean, so they have so many great characters in this movie. I can't get over it. But like, he's stand out for sure. Yeah, Daniel Kaluuya is like amazing. Yeah, right? and you know, like, so he was one of the great like new ones we see here. He also gives Miles a great tip. Because um, Miles is getting ready to build up a charge to try and break a shield to stop Spot. Um, Spider Punk just comes in here, bam, knocks the whole thing wide open, yep. the little shield open, and he's like, hey, mate, instead of just using your fingertips, use the whole thing. Use you your palm. Use your palm as well. You can generate. Use my, it's, it's basically more surface, more, area. Yeah, more surface area that you're covering and yeah. whatnot. And it's a great thing. Yeah. And that's awesome. That's so good. Um, and then they blow it up, but Spot, you know, escapes. They all come back to Spider Society, basically. And this is like, why? Well, no, 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 no. Spot escapes, and then we get the canon event disruption. Yeah, so this is when, like, they think they save everything at first, and, like, the, then all of a sudden there's this scene, there's this moment where uh, there's a bus about to fall on. It's uh, like a black hole kind of opens yeah. up, basically. Yeah, about to fall on Pateer's, uh, or Pop Tears, um, like girlfriend's dad yeah who would be who would be a cop who would who's be who's the captain of this who's like basically the mary jane or gwen right. stacy who's gwen stacy the gwen stacy's dad i'm not dad. sure of her name but uh but anyway yeah, yeah. He, the bus almost falls on him gwen stacy like tries to get miles not to grab it because like whatever and well and then, to try and save him but yeah, to also not like see, disrupt yeah, this yeah we'll talk about that but yeah he, he doesn't know he yeah. thinks she's just trying to protect him and uh, he say he saves the cop and saves 
uh, and, 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 and then and we find out in. later that yeah. this is a canon of disruption. Like right. people, it, events that need to happen need to happen. Otherwise, right. because in so the universe is unsteady. And so yeah, we find out that this is what is called the canon event. Let let's just jump into the spider society of stuff. Like we get into the spider society, we meet two hundred and eighty one different spider people between this entire like section here. Long yeah, like I don't know if we beat them, but um, we see, but, but, but yeah, we yeah. see two hundred and eighty one. <laughs> we definitely so don't one, beat them. One of my one of my favorite ones is Spider Rex. Yeah, I love the Spider Absolutely. Rex. Yeah. Spider Rex is like one yeah. of my favorites. Um. We get a nice. We do see my armored spider that is like the black suit with like the big uh, like silver oh, like, yeah. armor plates on spider, there. That's one. Of, that's one of my favorites from like the animated Spider-Man yeah, series. They got it the in uh, the early. Um, they got it in the game too. Yeah. Uh, the first Spider-Man game. Uh, yeah, it's it's cool. And so we go here. And then at, my favorite's uh, my favorite's Ben Riley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Andy Samberg is yeah. Ben Riley. He's so yeah. good. Um, the Scarlet Spider. But, so we get to Spider Society. Um, Jessica Drew knows that my or Miguel O'Hara is uh, is the guy who basically runs it. Like, yeah. he's the Spider-Man in charge. Yeah. Um, we learn good. about he's the good. web of events and the, you know, the spider web of canon events. He explains it. Canon events are key elements that literally tie all the spider people together. Which At, basically is... Right, is uh, Uncle Ben or somebody in? in well, like everybody has an Uncle Ben. Yeah, everybody has the the choice of saving the captain or the people. Yeah, and and the, so like an uncle has to die is yeah. basically what it is. Or, or somebody or, close to you. you no, know, yeah, I was like, it wasn't like, always, always an Uncle Ben. Uncle. Yeah, yeah, because again, Gwen loses Peter Parker, her best friend. Yeah, like so, it's like and, it's just somebody very close to you you're gonna lose, and right. it shows every Spider Man has to go through these certain things. Right, and it's starting to be like, well, Miles didn't go through these things. Miles right. didn't go. Well, through he lost an uncle. But not in the same. It's definitely not the same. Not the same. Not, you know the, what I mean? not the same yeah, way yeah. that like Uncle Ben dies yeah, and definitely. stuff. But, but there's like, definitely some. Like he loses an uncle, and then the next thing that they're kind of talking about, um, that like the issue of what they did in in Mumbadan here is that you stop the uh, you stop the police captain from dying, mm-hmm. and that is reminiscent of. The original Amazing Spider-Man run with Peter Parker being Spider-Man and Gwen, him not being able to save Captain Stacy um, at that time, yeah. and and th- this is like what Miles disrupts. Then it's explained that Gwen was actually holding him back to allow the canon event to happen and to also try and keep him safe. To be fair, when Miles goes in there to save. Uh, to save the captain and the little girl that the police captain is trying to save himself, that, like, the rubble falls on him. He is Spider-Man. He has the spider strength to, yeah, exactly. to withstand that rubble fall mm-hmm. and still protect the people and move the police captain enough to, like, uh, not get super hurt from rubble fall himself. But, like, that's why he survives. He could have died. I mean, yeah, like, he would've, like he would've, he, he's not, he's not like he's not like Wolverine. Yeah, Gwen was like, gonna clearly let like, that happen. Yeah, um, and again, we and Miguel explains that if you break canon events like allowing the captain to live, an uncle not to die, or a loved one or a close person member to you right. not that not Spider Man's entire universe becomes unstable. It becomes unstable and it starts breaking apart from the things that keep us together in the web and everything. Yeah. And, and so as much as, as um Spider Man and everyone else around him start seeing Spot as the as the big bad, which he is mm-hmm. over the these next that film and the next one, uh Miguel starts seeing uh Start seeing uh, Miles. Miles. So, Miles. Miguel starts seeing Miles as the villain. the villain, and Miles starts seeing Miguel yeah, as yeah. his villain. Well, Miguel, Miguel, Miles, you could tell wants to get on his good side for a little bit, but yeah, it's, yeah. I start seeing. Well, because then he talks about Miguel is a villain um, pretty quickly. Yeah. Well, because then they start talking about why Miles needs to stay here. Yeah. With them, they can't let Miles go and do anything 
due to a canon event that Spot is going to be a part of in two days. Yeah, they're just going to keep him around for, for, like, for no big deal. No, yeah. right? There's nothing else that yeah. they want to do. There's nothing that you need to worry about. Yeah. And like Miles, once he hears the a captain, a police captain must die, he's like, wait, my dad's becoming captain. He just became, or like, we just had a party for him. He becomes captain like next week or whatever. Or, or like, he's becoming captain. And they're like, yeah. My, Miguel's like, yeah, in two days. Spot's gonna kill him. Mm-hmm. We have to let this happen. Exactly. And Miles is like, no. what? Yeah, no. We don't have to let That's that. not yeah, gonna yeah. happen. Um, and to be fair, up to this point, he has also been reintroduced to Peter B. Parker. Yep. And he is also... And we meet he's his daughter. Also, and we meet his daughter, Mayday, who's absolutely adorable. adorable. But we also kind of get the feeling and the understanding from Miles, too, is he's like... People have been um, kind of like uh, like keeping things yeah. from me. This and I like, was kind of mad. At, I, I was honestly kind of mad at, right? at, at Gwen and Peter at this moment because, first of all, he was trying to, like we said, learn quantum physics so he could come visit his friends. You guys could have visited him this whole time and did, chose not to, mm-hmm. and then went behind his back basically to formulate this plan with Miguel, which we'll find out. You know? Yeah, to to then like keep him and like, well, that's why they didn't want to bring him into the Spider Society is so that they could keep him like out of the loop that his dad is or when his dad will yeah, die exactly. and stuff, so that he doesn't know when he can save him or anything like that, and he can't like intervene. And they and Spider Man Miles would allow the canon event unknowingly to just exactly. unfold, and um, we also get that I, I want to talk about one more cameo. We see Donald Glover. Oh, for sure. We see Donald Glover. As yeah, Miguel. when they're going through before they they get before meet. they meet Miguel, yeah. they see like you know a bunch of prowlers, uh, and he's like, "Oh, prowlers here? What?" And he's like, "Oh, it's not your prowler." Yeah. You know? And then he sees him, and he finally, and it's like. It's it's our it's Donald Glover Lover. like as a from real Spider Man like yeah. Homecoming and stuff. Yeah, well maybe I don't know. It, it's a version Fair. of that, Fair. and he's wearing a prowler outfit, uh-huh. and, and it's pretty cool. It's yeah. Great. yeah, and um, but yeah, he's actually in like a live action prowler gear and stuff. Yeah, which is super sweet. It, that was great to see. Um, again, along with the uh, like plethora of other Spider People yeah. we saw. Um, but then yeah, this is where it really kind of. This is where, like, the story kind of takes it into, like, a whole nother, like, gear here as well. Because Miles is like, no. Yeah. I am not going to stay here. Yeah. I am going to save and my dad. And he literally dad. has all of those Spider-Men and, chasing him. And then we get the spider chase <laughs> yeah. throughout sp- Spider Society. And that is insane. Where, yeah. like, dude, we get all of the spider people and we get... We get the Spider-Man pointing thing because Miguel yeah, over the yeah. light over the loudspeaker is like, "We need to stop Spider-Man. We need to stop him from escaping." Yeah. Um, it's just so <laughs> Everybody funny. Everybody points at each other. Yeah, it's That's so what? funny. Yeah, and uh, they yeah. So this chase and Susan, and they they're going through. They're on this. They get on this train. Yeah, car. basically they're running through Spider Society, and then they're getting on this train car that. Goes to because they're in Nueva, New York, yeah. which is Spider Man, Spider Man, yeah, yeah. yeah, Miguel's um, New York, his home, yeah. and so that's where all this is based, and it's all in the future. So they got crazy looking yeah. like cars and buildings and everything, and so yeah, they're on this train, and basically everybody, all, all of the, the Spider Men are chasing Miguel is chasing Miles, and, they're chasing Miguel and Miles, like Gwen and right. uh, Peter. Uh, are chasing Mc- and and because like it's like Ma- it's like Miles it's like Miles it's like Miguel and then we've got like Peter B Parker and then we got Gwen Stacy like right there underneath Spider Punk's there too right yeah, yeah. Spider no Spider Punk throws his one thing and says I quit oh right? yeah oh yeah yes 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 he does not go on the chase yeah. because he he says he thought we were the good guys yeah he thought we were the good guys and he thought we were saying F the establishment yeah, yeah. um and uh so like that's just that yeah so he's not there. Which it, but that yeah. comes back later, and so like he, so he quits. Everybody else is chasing, and then finally, he, uh, Mc, or Miles, like, but Miles like shocks Miguel. Yeah, yeah. Well, once he, yeah, he catches yeah, yeah, up yeah. to him. Catches up to him. Miguel really gives like starts going crazy. 
and like it's like you're, an, you're an anomaly. Like, you're not even yeah, supposed to be here. Yeah, you're not supposed to be here. You're an anomaly. You like so basically, he's saying he's the issue. Like yeah. he was never supposed to be born. Like or like as a Spider Man, he was never mm -hmm. supposed to be a Spider Man. He was never supposed to be bit. That that Spider was for another universe's Spider Man who never got to become a Spider Man because of like he hold or because of Miles. Yeah. yeah. And he holds a lot of resentment clearly towards. Yeah. Miles. And this is also crazy to hear this from Miguel. Yeah. Of the Spider Society of the people that um, Miles desperately wants to be a part of because yeah. they are so similar on so many they're spider well people. yeah they're all spider they're, they're, they're spider people he's telling you you're whereas, basically you're not one of us whereas his mother Rio before he left was like always remember I am so wor I like I love you I want you to do well and, and be out there in the world but I'm also very worried that the people you go with or that you meet won't love you, you the way the way, we love, the way you, yeah. we love you yeah. and stuff and it's so interesting seeing the, it's not Miles. It's the not, hate, the it, hatred for just what he is. He yeah. didn't do any of it. Like yeah. he didn't mean to get hit right. by a spider. He didn't, he didn't. He didn't collect that spider yeah, yeah. and raise it, and then like, so like it's it's totally unfounded by Miguel's uh, standards. But he yeah. blames everything on him because of the collider incident. And like, yeah, and everything but, that keeps know. going on because we even. We even get a shout out to Doctor Strange and uh, yeah, yeah. and Tom Holland's Peter Parker um, right. it, it early on in the Gwen Stacy segment, but that's really fun. But here, so Miguel falls backwards, and then it is dropped down, and uh, the last thing though that Miles says before he like shocks Miguel is he's like, "Well, I got all of you, I got all the Spider People out of the Spider Society." So that's something. Yeah. And then shocks Miguel. Miguel falls. And then we get like a very similar like um, uh, leap of faith moment from like Into the Spider-Verse of Miles jumping off the train, falling, and then beating everybody back to Spider Society. Yeah, exactly. And Peter B. Parker is like, he didn't have a plan this entire time. He's winging it. Did have it planned out the entire yeah, time exactly. like it was just so funny to see that yeah, to yeah. see that little bit he's like, proud he's yeah proud. he's yeah. so proud he's he, like he's, he's like, like i love you miles yeah, exactly. <laughs> um but then miles gets back he sneaks up on they're um, a little bit disillusioned they still think it's for the right thing they mm -hmm. still think they're doing the right thing i think but they're definitely seeing miguel in a new light too in this yeah moment. absolutely and so uh miles sneaks back he beats out the synthetic uh, Spider Woman. Um, yeah, he uses his. Uh, he uses his, his stealth cloaking to to uh, mess with her enough to turn on the machine that that gets your DNA because, and sends you back to your universe. And we found that out, which earlier. was used, yeah, yeah, for prison the prisoners uh, that they hold there, the anomalies, the anomalies so they, they could send them back to their home uh, universes. So we get a moment here where Miles uses this and like. Everybody finally catches up with the, the things about the clothes. Uh, Miguel grabs it. He's trying to open it up back up. but uh, And they're, he, they're about to shut it down. And the, the AI spider woman uh, yeah. uh, was about to... Sh had a chance to shut it down. But, like, sees Miles' face and, like, sees how crazy Miguel's being. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, like, sees how uh, 2099's being. And, and, and she hesitates. She has a moment. She's like, no, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. And she just lets him go. She finally... She finally sees what Gwen was asking at some like, point. Like, I, I thought we were the yeah. good guys. Yeah. And, like, Miguel saying, we are. He's literally just running away. Yeah. And so Miles then gets transported. Gwen gets fired from the team and gets sent back to her yeah. world. And then Miguel, Jessica Drew, Ben Riley. All then go looking for for look, miles. Look, go looking for miles. We go back then to Gwen Stacy's home. She goes back home. She sees her dad, and we end the conversation here. Her and like her dad's home. Sees Spider Woman there. She's like, "Where have you been?" Yeah, you know, like where have you like been? He's like he's this. He's he's like looks like he lost weight. Like he's yeah. he's got a little stubble. Like yeah, he quit. He quit. Apparently, he no, he quit right then. Yeah, yeah. In that speech, he was still a cop. Yeah. Up until in the middle of her, and that's what she said. Like he was so, 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 quit. so, like, so she 
she, um, Gwen Stacy gives a very beautifully heartfelt speech of saying that you wear the badge because you know if you don't, somebody who shouldn't will. Yeah. And I feel the same way about me wearing my mask about doing the right thing. If I don't wear this, this mask is my badge. I don't do this, somebody else who will do it badly or for the wrong yeah, reason, the wrong reason will. Will, will, will do this. Yeah. And um, halfway through that speech, or like in the speech, she's like, it, 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 her dad's kind of like say less yeah. at the end of this. Um, like you don't need to say anymore. Halfway through your speech, I quit. Yeah. And she's like, what? He's like, I quit being yeah, You can't a be a cop if, I, I, if, like, if like, your daughter is a criminal. Right. Because then and I have so, to arrest you. Right. And so he's like, like I love you. I want I want you in my yeah. life and stuff. And for us to have and then they to have this relationship. The, the big old hug. Yeah. They go in for the big old hug. We also get, like, when they hug, it's beautiful, too, because we get a really awesome, um, like, brightness, warmth of, like, yeah, cool. of, like, warmth and light coming from them. Which we've seen a few and, times already, like, that yeah. type of art going on with more in moments with her. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. But this um, one was really, well, filled, this one filled up the screen and, like, So, yeah. all of the filmmakers, to varying degrees, different people you talk to, they talk about at least Gwen Stacy's world trying to be a mood ring. In their that's coloring, exactly that they and, and, that, and that's exactly what it is. Because as like the different like temper, as like emotions rise, sometimes it can get a little bit darker or a yeah. little bit like redder. Mm -hmm. But this was different. This was like a a a, a warmer kind yeah, of warm, like color, uh, yeah, sometimes and a warm cool, fuzzy yeah. kind of feeling. And it was stuff taking like over that. the yeah. cool looking room. The cold, exactly the coldness, the, the coldness, the darkness, yeah. the like you know solitudeness, aloneness, um, and so then. Yeah, her dad, you know, says he uh, says he quit, and uh, also tells her that she had a friend stop by, a real piece of work. Yeah, exactly. Said that you uh, Think might you better not be dating this guy. <laughs> <basically. laughs> yeah, yeah, and is like he left you this and said you'd know what to do with it, and it is Hobie who left. It's Hobie's decoder ring. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 it's his portal. Yeah. It's his portal band, yeah. and you know, so you'll so, need this. Says. You might need this in a little bit, and then we get broke. yeah, because yeah, you're well, because hers got taken away. Yeah. Like not even just it got it, they. Oh no, she yeah, still had it. They they zapped it to yeah. like where all of her excess was gone. That's right. She couldn't use it oh, anymore. Yeah, but, um, but then she goes and she decides that she's gonna make a new band, a new family. Yeah. And then we get um, a couple of shots of her with. Peter B. Parker. Well, Peter B. Parker, we get back at home, like, talking. Mm -hmm. to, yeah, 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 back at home, talking with Mary Jane. Right. And, like, we got a couple of other, like, bits of that, too, of him being, like, I'm the worst dad taking yeah. you Mayday because so he's, he's flipping around yeah. and stuff. And um, so, yeah, Gwen Stacy shows up in his backyard and is like, hey, you got to do this. And then <laughs> Mayday puts down her spider her spider yeah, mask and is getting ready to go yeah. with and like rock and roll and stuff yep. um so that's really great and uh but what we don't get is we see penny parker show up we get spider-man noir show up with uh gwen stacy we get um peter porker and then we get uh god i can't think of her name the synthetic spider woman she shows up as well, along with Hobie, um, and, uh, Pop, Pop Tier. Yeah, yeah, From yeah. Mumbadden, yeah, Spider-Man so. from Mumbadden. He's Yeah, so we got a new band well. together to go find, uh, Miles. Miles. Because, cut two, two meanwhile, Miles. Miles was having some, um, uh, issues, because he wakes up and he's in his apartment and says things are different, and, mm -hmm. uh. He's, no, he's he wakes like, up on the rooftop at a different. Yeah, day. yeah. I'm just saying. Both, at his, at his, uh, he wakes up and then he goes to his yeah. apartment. Things are just different. His mom's there. It's, it's a little darker. Dad's not it's, around. It, 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 it seems it, to be at all, night. And then yeah, and then all of a sudden you hear a knock at the door and it's it's his uncle, and he comes in. Yeah, and, and we're like, like oh, oh. what's going on? And he's like, he realizes in this moment, like you know, I'm not in the right. I'm not in the right place. universe. Yeah, yeah. I'm not in the right place. To be fair, this stuff is also intercut. With Gwen Stacy, before she leaves to go collect her spider people, 
going into Miles's room. Yeah, and realizing see, and he's not there. He's not there. And then she talks to. So um, we're both in it. So Miles is in his room, and then Gwen's in his room. And you could think, you know, maybe they're going at different times. It's a different time of day or whatever. Or they're missing each other. But then, yeah, they. Do you see through Gwen's point of view that like her parents don't know where he is either, yeah. and. Uh, and they're all mad when they when she walks out in a, yeah. in a hoodie from yeah. his room and it's like, what are you doing here and everything? Yeah. Where's our son? Like, where's Miles and everything? So she realizes, oh, he's not here. And, yeah. And then he's realizing in that moment too that he's not in the in right place. place. So and, yeah, we get um, his uncle Aaron comes through and is like giving his mom money. Yeah. It looks like you know, it looks like they're not holding together. And yeah, you realize you don't see, uh, you don't hear any, like word about like they're about Miles's dad like right. like Rio kind of seems to be a little off put like right. by a mention or two of like uh of Miles's dad and yeah stuff, so, so so Aaron's basically like all right you ready you ready to come like come with me we're gonna go do something and then uh Miles is like yeah yeah for sure he's ready to go hang out with his uncle he's like that you know yeah so they go outside and it, it, on their way it's kind of like are you you know are you ready for this job basically and it seems like they're gonna do something like uh maybe a little illegal to get some money on the table because when you you see you see outside like there's like fires happening like it does not look good in harlem no Uh, yeah it does not look good out there yeah and uh and all of a sudden you're you notice on the back of the building where the mural for aaron his uncle aaron was it's a mural now for his uh yeah and then we get to the rooftop or well we leave the apartment yeah um miles and aaron do and aaron is like working a job yeah almost and miles isn't keeping up right. with that at right. all he's like starting to notice something's wrong yeah and but while they're up there and we see the mural and they're both looking at it i don't know if you notice this but uh uncle aaron picks up his gets a gets a yeah exactly yeah looks at his phone Clearly a text message from yeah, his Miles, yeah, yeah. and the immediately changes the, the, the sl- no 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 but the sly look yeah that he gives over right. to right his body Miles language immediately changes when he gets wild. Those yeah. and then we get the replay of like Peter B Parker on the uh, attached to the punching bag like how Miles brought Peter B to his uncle Aaron's place yeah that time. Um, yeah, so we cut to we, we uh, he's out there and he sees and then he's all of a sudden he's he's he gets, he gets knocked out and you think maybe oh it was, that was Uncle Aaron from like or like someone else but it, anyway he's hanging and it's Uncle Aaron and he's like he's messing around and he like it seems like he's gonna start torturing Miles yeah uh, who's hanging from the punching bag like yeah. you said chained up to it and um, Miles is trying to get out or whatever and he starts spinning it around messing with him a little bit. And then all of a sudden, Miles walks My, Other Miles well, walks up. Yeah, because our Miles is like, Uncle Aaron, you can be a good guy. You yeah. don't need to be the prowler. And Uncle Aaron's like, I'm not, I'm the, prowler. not the prowler. And then we get that cut up. We see the purple eyes of of, of the prowler showed up. Yeah. And then they walk up. He looks up. so sick. Miles Wha- looks so Wha- sick as the prowler. He had the cornrows. He's like, oh, yeah. he looks so cool. But yeah, he looks like a bad man. Like Miles looks so, so this maybe um is the universe that or no, definitely is the universe that the spider came from that doesn't yeah. have Spider Man now. Because the one thing that we didn't talk about that they do talk about is that where that machine sends you from the spider society is based on your DNA. Yeah. Well guess what? His DNA spider was people yeah. get DNA get their DNA messed up from their spider bites. Yeah. Well, this spider that bit our miles from into the spider verse is from Earth 42. Yep. Not his spider. So he his DNA is now mixed with 42 and not. And since the anomaly was the 42, that's where they sent it back yep. to instead of So his. that 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 Earth does not have a Spider-Man on it and it is chaos. You can tell outside yeah. New York there is nobody uh, clearly, Miles went down a dark path because of it, and um, well, yeah, because yeah, obviously he went down a dark path. He, you know, he started running stuff with like uh, 
his uncle and everything. And we know his uncle Aaron like works with the kingpin, or you know, is prop if not working with a kingpin is doing something of his own. Yeah, and this is also a clear moment of like of our of Miles, our Spider Man Miles kind of realizing, oh, this is this what I become without a dad? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this is kind of a, like, oh, shoot. Like, I, I hope big, I, yeah. It's kind of a big pivotal moment here. And then, um, so as he's tied up, we get one last thing, basically. We see Miles. He feels, he's got one finger free. And he's feeling the back, and he's got one finger on his chain. And we know from into the spider verse he can bust out of that stuff oh, by yeah. sending oh, this yeah. arachnid you know his yeah i mean to be fair to prowl to be fair fair to prowler or prowler miles and uh aaron they don't know yeah. this, this kid has powers exactly and so this is basically then you know he's hanging out there and we get a to be continued yeah for Which, oh! yeah. I mean, to be fair, like I get it. Like yeah, when we were no, there, yeah. I definitely thought we were gonna be hanging out for like another 20, 30 minutes. Right. Like um, just for me, it, I don't like to be continues for the I, movies like I this. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I get it. And we talked yeah. about this off mic before. And like, no, 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 say your piece, though. Man. Yeah. Say, speak no, out. it's just I don't like I don't like to be continues for movies. I don't mind it in a TV show where it's gonna be back next week or something like that. But, like, for a movie to be so long and to not have a beginning, middle, and, like, clear ending, which, you know, it, it does have a good ending, uh, uh, by the way, but it, it was it was, it was was definitely annoying. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it, it's like, a st- so, the story... I want more, though. Story, so, like, it yeah. did what it was supposed to do. Right? It leaves you wanting more. It may leave you wanting um, a little bit more put into this so that, like, the next one may not feel so fat, but I don't know. Um, I really liked it, and, yeah, I mean, you, I and, you, it. and you didn't hate it either. No. You really loved it as well. This is a solid flick. It's yeah, so good. It's um, it, it, I mean, it's up there now. We got to talk about it with like the one and twos of like other great movies. Mm-hmm. Of like, like it's got to be talked about. Like the, both of these are fantastic. If you're not talking about this the way that you're talking about like Alien and Aliens or Star Wars and Empire. Or Godfather and Godfather 2, like, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, because, exactly. Because they are, you're looking at it as, like, as like, an animated thing and not yeah, realizing animated. that it's, it's, it's actually, it's potential, like, as a just mo- straight up movie and storytelling. Yeah. And, and It's just so good. And it, yeah. ha- it, like, it has to be in those conversations. Yeah, it's definitely an American classic. It's going to uh, be a visual. It, oh, absolutely. Yeah. It will be, and it is, and it's, it's one of my so favorite. Good. It's one of my favorite Spider-Man, for, it is my favorite Spider-Man franchise now. Yeah. And then it's just Miles in general has just been amped up from this this uh, everything version. about it. Yeah. Everything about it just works. Like I really liked it. Like yeah, it's long. Um, if you like, sure, it's long. It 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 it's a it's a tough sit for maybe really little kids. But to be fair, at the end of it, like, I wanted it to be long. Me too. <laughs> I was ready. I was ready for more. But yeah, um, it, it, if you're saying for kids, but yeah, yeah. I mean. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's just more of a broad movie. I'm, su- I'm super excited to spin this stuff back at home, though, too. You know, like once it's out on oh like my God, video and whatnot. Yeah. It's going to be great. Um, but we love it. Go check it out in theaters. Go check it out when it's available on digital and home media later this year. Oh God, yeah. um, but we loved it. Go check it out. We want to thank you all for joining us. Please stay safe. I am Jimmy with the Triple C Collective. I'm Colin. Please like and subscribe to our video and to our channel. And um, as we say, with every with every ending, we've always got to say, and with great power comes great responsibility.